weed killers are directly connected to birth defects and also stillbirth deaths. And we have new studies showing this. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, master herbalist and health and wellness instructor, going on 36 years here. Let's get the world healthy. 1,300 videos for you to watch. And let's get the world healthy. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. Well, there was a brand new study in the Washington Post that showed we have a huge increase in stillbirth deaths, which are really not good and beyond what we would normally uh, think would happen. And then people who didn't have any risk of this happening. So this is uh, very concerning. And a couple of weeks ago, I showed that these weed killers are also in pesticides, herbicides are causing brain damage in little kids and also in, you know, the fetus also and directly connected to uh, autism. And, but nobody's listening about that. Very interesting. And if I can find this, everybody can find this, but I think they don't want to find it. Studies show from 2016 to 2022, there's a big increase in stillborn deaths and which is really not good i uh, you know as soon as back in 2012 and when they start, started coming out with these glycostates uh weed killers i said there's going to be a problem there is going to be a lot of stillbirth deaths in the future and lo and behold what do we got going on now you can see all those studies down below uh you just click on we'll show more and it'll show it all and we need to stop this completely. I mean, uh, we need to go back to, you know, a more agrarian type society where, you, where we use natural fertilizers and get out and hold by hand or, you know, have we have tractors that'll do that type of thing of actually getting rid of weeds. There's, and we are using more of these weed killers than much more than we've ever used before right now. And we are doing ourselves damage by uh, the fact that we want to make the almighty dollar, you know what I mean? And how many kids are, are lost or how many kids have defects and you know, put their whole well, life you know, on hold and the, the, also their parents are going through terrible things. This is not right. It's not right at all. But big money talks unfortunately and we need to raise our voices and say no more we got to get rid of this you know i think the average person also in their yard they need to stop using these weed killers it is not good you know get out the hoe and <laughs> get rid of those weeds and get a little exercise at the same time well don't take my word for it go down and look at some of these articles and make up your own mind I'm not here to change your mind in any way, shape, or form, but we do have this increase in stillbirth deaths that are not good. So uh, peruse those articles and come to an, your own idea. Maybe you don't think it's real. Maybe you think it's real. I don't know. I'm not here to make up your mind. I'll tell you one thing. Chemicals in general are really not good in our food. We need to stop this. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. Maybe you have, you know, gallbladder disease. I've turned that around in two weeks. I had a lady who had gallbladder disease so bad she was in terrible pain and she was scheduled for a surgery in two weeks. And I said, give me those two weeks. And we actually got rid of it and um, actually got rid of the gallbladder disease completely. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And a great sage said, if your work life is humble, do not apologize for it. Be proud because you are fulfilling the duties given to you by the Father. Be proud of what you do, no matter what.